An attack in the heart of London. Police are treating it as a terror incident. For hours, Parliament was placed in lockdown. Emergency vehicles blocking all roads. If people wanted to know what happened or how I felt, I wouldn't have minded speaking about it, but it's just not something I would have up front been like, can we talk about it? The question is, do you feel it's important for there to be the option to talk about the trauma and things like that? I think it is definitely important to talk about things, because if you don't get it off your mind, it's just going to build up. It could turn into anything worse, and. You might not even want to leave the house or speak to people like you usually would. So I feel having the choice to speak about it is important. It's more important for the people around some, the person who's gone through it to open up and start speaking about it. Not directly, but is there anything on your mind sort of thing? Because I don't feel like somebody who's just gone through something like that would want to speak about it and be open, because I feel like they'd feel like they're seeking attention from it rather than sort of actually speaking what's on their mind and how they feel. I feel like having a relationship and trust between the two people is really important because you're not going to open up to somebody that you don't trust. It's just easier and it's more comforting to talk to somebody. Just don't feel like you can't speak about it because there'll always be somebody there to listen and they'll always care as long as you know they trust and it's the right kind of person that you're speaking to. So just speak to somebody you feel comfortable with, don't let anybody force you into speaking about it. I just think that people should just treat it as they treat any other event that happens in someone's life. Like, I don't think that they should treat it as if it's something that has been really like horrible and that they should tiptoe around and try not to talk to me about. I just think that they should treat it as if it's any other thing that's happened to me and that they should feel like open about asking questions or like wanting to know what happened or how I'm feeling, you know? Like after the attack, then no one really seemed to want to ask those sort of questions, everyone seemed to want to just tiptoe around it and try and like, like, roll me in cotton wool and kind of treat me as if I was like really fragile and really like broken, even though like that wasn't the case and I was still willing to talk to people and answer any questions. And like, that's just how I think people should act. I just think that if anyone has any sort of questions about anything, they should just feel free to ask them. You know, regardless of whether it's about like a traumatic incident or whether it's just about what you've had for your dinner. Like, everyone should just treat each other the same. <laughs> Hi. Hi, I'm Jess. I'm Laurie. <laughs> Hello. 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 Yeah, have a nice time. Yeah. Having a nice time. Lovely. Why don't you tell the story about what uh, Zach's brother said about your family? <laughs> <laughs>